Welcome to this week's Primed Insight. My name is John Kennemer, one of the account managers here at Blast One. This week we wanted to discuss a few ways to improve the life of your Blast hose. I've previously sold a Blast Spot package to a client who refurbishes large construction equipment, and included in the package was a 50 foot piece of our best selling inch and a quarter two ply hose. That was all the length they needed. Well, they called afterwards and were having issues with the screws stripping out of the coupling that connected the hose to the metering valve. They first thought it might be defective, but a new hose didn't solve the problem. We then discovered that they were moving the hose a lot to climb on and around the machines, and there was simply more strain on the coupling than the two ply could handle. To solve the problem, we gave them a six foot piece of inch and a half four ply hose to use as a first section, and then connected their main 50 foot hose to that. That solved the problem. Note that we used an inch and a half hose for that section, as well as a four ply, which best matches the inch and a half pusher line. So our first suggestion is if you're having issues with the hose connection at the metering valve, try inserting a four ply section and inch and a half hose first. Our second suggestion for blast room customers is similar to this one. Ideally, blast pots are located outside the booth. When this is the case, use a short section of four ply hose first through the wall, and then you can use the more flexible two ply hose for the whip. This dramatically reduces wear at the point where the hose goes through the wall. Our last suggestion, which again is primarily directed to blast room customers, is a simple maintenance tip. Every week or two, remove the blast hose from the metering valve, rotate it to 180 degrees and reinstall it. This will reduce premature wear in a single spot and improve your blast hose life. A bonus suggestion is a best practice tip on blast hose usage. When blasting, and especially when misblasting, try to lay out the blast hose in gentle curves rather than sharp bends, and avoid using hose that's unnecessarily long. Not only does this reduce blast hose wear, but it improves performance at, at the nozzle by reducing pressure drop. That's it. Thanks for watching this week's Primed Insight. We'll see you next week. Thank you.